Hello guys and welcome back to TechWolf. In this video I'm going to show you how to set up a local area network or LAN in VirtualBox and we will be doing it from three Windows 11 instances or three Windows 11 virtual machines. In previous videos I have already showed you how you can create a private network on VirtualBox but we used Windows 10 but in this video I will show you how to do it with Windows 11 and how to create not a private but local area network and in future videos we will also create a workgroup for all these three instances which we will create in this video and how to also add a hybrid system to this LAN and we will be adding or enabling Hyper-V on this local area network. Here I will demonstrate all this in a virtual environment but these videos will be useful for anyone if for example in your home environment or in your classroom you want to create a local area network and you want to share files between multiple computers on local area network. For example your mother has a computer, your father has a computer, you have a computer, you create a local area network and then you are able to share files between these computers by using a workgroups on Windows 11. Or you could be able to replicate this also on Windows 10. So now further ado and let's get into it. First thing as you can see we have installed Windows 11 on VirtualBox. We will start from here where we have one instance of Windows 11 and we will be setting up two more. Let's configure network configurations for this virtual machine. So to do this click on this Windows 11 and click here in settings at the top or you can right click on this Windows 11 and click on settings here in the very first tab. And once this settings opens up click here on the left hand side into network. And here make sure that in the network you are in adapter 1 and this enable network adapter is selected and here is attached to. Now currently we are in NAT we click on this drop down and here we select on internal network and internal network this is for setting up a local area network and where it says name give a name to this local area network we will call this local area network LAN-group1 here where it says adapter type leave it as it is and promiscuous mode make sure that this is in deny and make sure that you have cable connected because this will be kind of LAN or local area network which is cable connected and hit ok now let's duplicate this windows 11 virtual machine and to do that hover over this tab windows 11 right click on it and click on clone and here in the name field you can call it however you want i will simply add windows 11-2 and here make sure the clone type is full clone and where it says MAC address policy click in this drop down and here select generate new MAC address for all network adapters and click on finish and it will create another Windows 11 and now let's do exactly to create the third virtual machine for third virtual for third Windows 11 instance and to do so right click again on Windows 11 on the very first virtual machine click on clone and here again let's give it a name Windows 11-3 as this will be our third virtual machine here make sure that full clone is enabled in MAC address is select generate new MAC address for all network adapters and click on finish and it will create as a third virtual machine for Windows 11 and now once we have created these three virtual machines now click on very first one which is called Windows 11 in our scenario and here on the right hand side where it says network make sure that it has adapter 1 and it is using internal network LAN dash group 1 then click on second one which is Windows 11 dash 2 in our scenario here also make sure that it is also using adapter 1 internal network LAN dash group 1 and the same on third one in adapter 1 internal network LAN dash group 1 this means that they all are on the same network now let's open one by one all these three virtual machines let's open this very first one you can double click on it or click on it and here click on start and now similar way let's open another one as you can see here on the top tab it says Windows 11 is currently running with Oracle VirtualBox now let's click on second one and let's click on start and now let's click on third one and also click on start and let's start our third virtual machine 
And now let's log in in all these virtual machines. Let's start by Windows 11. I will close this sidebar off. Let's click on it. Let's log in. Hit enter. Now let's log in into this one Windows 11-2. As you remember in previous videos I showed you how to create these accounts. That's why I have here more many login accounts and how to add these accounts into groups. If you would like to know how to do that watch my other videos. And here we also log in. And let's also log in into third Windows 11. And now before we even continue, I will close this virtual box manager down. Before we continue, let's check whether they are on the same network. And to check whether they are on the same network, let's open Windows 11, which is the very first virtual machine. And here in search, type in CMD. So we can check the IP address of this particular virtual machine. And to check IP address, we use command IP config and hit enter. And here we can see the IP address, which is 169.254.139.145. And if we see this IP address 169.254, this means that this IP address has been assigned to this machine by itself. And this is a PIPA IP address. As we know, these are self-assigned addresses if the device which is connected to the network can't find a DHCP server or not in the network. So what we will do next is we will assign IP addresses to all these three machines in this scenario. In real world scenario, you would have some uh, private IP address which would be provided or assigned to your machine by DHCP, which is in your router, for example. Then to sign IP address to this particular machine, we right click on the start icon. We go into settings and here in the right hand side network and internet, we click into very first tab ethernet. Then we scroll down, see here IP assignment, click here on edit to the right hand side for this ICP assignment. Here select manual, here we select IPv4 and here I will give IP address 192.168.1.10 and subnet mask should populate automatically. If it's not populating then type in subnet mask 255.255.255.0 and click save. And now again let's type in CMD in search hit enter and now again type in IP config and hit enter and now you can see that here is this IP address which we assigned to this very first device which is in our scenario Windows 11 and IP address for it is now 192.168.1.10 so let's do exactly the same for all other Windows virtual machines so let's open this one Windows 11-2 which is our second virtual machine and here we also right click on start icon we click into settings we click into network and internet let's click into ethernet and here scroll down until you will see ip assignment click on edit and click here select here oh, this is in, in this drop down manual enable ipv4 and here let's assign ip address 192.168 dot one dot eleven and subnet mask the same two hundred fifty five dot two hundred fifty five dot two hundred fifty five dot zero and click on save and also let's check whether this device also has this IP address so click in search type in CMD and hit enter and here again let's type a command IP config and hit enter and here we can see that we have IP address for this second device dot one dot which ends with dot one dot eleven. And now let's assign the IP address to our third device. We uh, let's close this sidebar and here we also do exactly the same. Let's right click on start icon settings. We go into network and internet. We click into ethernet. We select here IP assignment, we click on edit, here we select in drop down manual, we enable IPv4 assignment and we type in 192.168.1.12 and in subnet mask the same 255.255.255.0 and click save. And again let's type in, in CMD in search, hit enter and IP config. 
and hit enter. And now we can see that this third device has IP 192.168.1.12. So now let's make sure that they are on the same network. Let's go back to Windows 11, which is our very first virtual machine. And from this virtual machine, let's type in CMD. Let's hit enter and let's try to ping all other virtual machines to see whether they are on the same network and they can talk to each other. Here let's first type in IP config, config. So we can see IP address of this machine, which is 192.168.1.10. And as you remember, for the virtual machine 2, we have IP ending with 11. And for virtual machine 3, we have IP ending with 12. So let's ping a second virtual machine. Ping space 192.168.1 and dot 11. And hit enter. And if we still can't ping, as you can see in this scenario, we need to disable firewall, as the firewall is not allowing ping requests to other virtual machines. And to do so in all virtual machines, let's disable firewall. So right click on start. I will not be configuring firewall in this video. We could simply configure to allow these ping requests, but I will be simply disabling as I am creating this only for demonstration purposes. So here let's select again settings, here select privacy and security here Windows security, here virus and threat protection and here on the left hand side select firewall and network protection and here where it says public network click into it and disable this one and click on yes here and exactly the same we need to do for all other virtual machines. And now let's go again to our very first virtual machine, which is Windows 11. Let's close this down and let's try to ping again. Let's type in CMD, hit enter. And now let's try to ping our second device, which is 192.168.1.11 and hit enter. And as you can see, pinging is now happening. This means that this very first ping computer can easily speak to our second computer. And let's do exactly the same. Let's ping now device our third computer, which is 192.168.1.12 and hit enter. And here you can see that these devices are also able to communicate. So now we have set a local area network and we added all these three devices on local area network and we assigned IP addresses or configured IP addresses and subnet masks for all of these three computers. In real life that would be like three computers. And in next video I am going to show you how to create a war groups and how we can share files on this local area network. So yes guys, if you found this video useful, leave a like, share this video, subscribe to the channel if you are new and see you in the next one.